Hello everybody, welcome back to our channel. In this episode we're going to be solving a physics 7a practice problem on the topic of thermodynamic processes and cycles. As usual, if you're finding this content helpful, please make sure to leave a like and subscribe as that really helps our channel. So this is the problem that we're going to be solving today. Shown in the diagram is a thermal cycle ABCA performed on an ideal gas. Assume no change in bond energy during this cycle. We have to determine the sign of the work done in the process A to B and C to A. Then the magnitude of the work done in the process C to A is given and we have to figure out the volume. Then we have to figure out Q for the process B to C to A. And then finally, we're giving the actual magnitude of the work for the process A to B and we have to determine Q for the whole cycle A, B, C, A. All right, as you can see, I have um, the uh, picture of the cycle over here, as well as the uh, instructions. So we are just gonna go ahead and get started. We are fresh off of a review session that I just posted. So that should be enough to solve this entire problem pretty easily. So the first thing that we have to figure out is the sign of work for A to B and for C to A. So that's pretty straightforward. So the work from, uh, what is it, A to B is, so from A to B, you are increasing your volume. And again, for the review, if you are increasing your volume, that means negative. Because you increase your volume and then your work from C to A is the other way around positive because your change in volume is negative. All right, so moving on to part B, we are given the magnitude of work and then we have to figure out what is the volume at points B and C. Okay, since they are giving us the um, work from here to here, so uh, for B, work, oh, C to A is equal to uh, 4,000. And we also know from our review session that uh, C to A is um, an isobatic process. C to A is an isobatic process. And what they are giving us is essentially the area under this entire rectangle. And that is 4,000. Um, how do we figure out the volume? Well, we know because this is isobatic that we can use our simplification for the equation which is over here. Uh, how do we get to this simplification? You'll have to go back and look at the review session, but basically because this is isobatic, work can be simplified to a negative P times change in volume. So now we basic, oh, and this is negative P volume final minus volume initial. So essentially we wanna solve for the initial volume as in this case, we're talking about C to A. So uh, let's just change it to C and, okay, so this is negative P, final would be A, and then the initial would be C. There we go. Um, so volume C is equal to um, W minus P volume A divided by P. So this is equal to... Okay, so just a quick heads up. I made a little mistake when uh, solving for BC. So I skipped some steps and because I skipped some steps, I missed a negative sign. I said that it was negative over here, but in reality it's positive. And I went ahead and looked at my uh, procedure and um, and I actually did this, uh, 
you know, I did this step by step. And if you have negative and negative and you multiply this, you get this positive, which means that when this goes to the other side, it goes as positive and now everything is positive. So you just end up dividing. So I had sort of the right equation, but this was supposed to be plus, this was supposed to be plus. And if I put it correctly on my calculator, I get um, 0 0.005 meters cube, final answer. Oh, and this is also the volume at um, B, so B, B, C, whatever. All right, so again, this is a consequence of me skipping steps, so you might want to go ahead and not do that on a quiz if, if at all possible. But let's just go ahead and uh, keep going. So we have to determine uh, what is Q for the process B to C to A and then explain our answer. Okay, so we have to do Q from B to C to A. And the equations that we have for Q at the moment are basically, uh, is this one pretty much that delta U is equal to Q plus W, which is also equal to a change in E thermal. So if I look at this, oh, and this is because there are no phase, phase changes, right? So no change in E1. If I look at this, I have my work, well, I can figure out my work, uh, but I would need a change in temperature. So basically we have to figure out what the change in temperature is from going from B to C to A. So change in temperature, if we go from B to A is T B minus, no, T, TA minus TB, final minus initial. So we use the ideal gas law. PV is equal to T. So the temperature at A is equal to PV, so pressure A, BA, divided by uh, and R, which is just two constants. So PA is equal to 10 volume A R. So this is equal to, um, what is it like 1000? Yeah, 1000. R, TB, uh, this is 8 something, but I don't have the number of moles, so I'm just going to leave it like that. Uh, PB, BB, and R. So this is, the pressure at B is 2 times 10 to the 5, but then the volume is equal to 5, 5 times 10 to the negative 3. And R, so this is also a thousand over an uh, and R, which basically means that because this is the same number, the number of moles is not changing and R is just a constant. So delta T, when you go from uh, B to A is equal to zero because your initial and your final are the same. Now, what does this mean? Well, um, if delta T going from B to C to A is equal to zero, then that means that the change in E thermal going from B to C to A is equal to zero which means that U is equal to zero. So basically Q uh, from B to C to A is equal to the negative Q, I'm sorry, is equal to work going from B to C to A. 
Now, this is what we're trying to find. We're trying to find Q and we have work. Now work can be decomposed into two processes. So this work B to C to A can be decomposed into work B to C, which is up and then C to A. like this and we can eliminate going from B to C because there is no change in volume when you go from B to C. So B to C is an isovolumetric that means that it's equal to zero. So uh, Q going from B to C to A is equal to just the negative. I'm moving the sign because I want Q. It's equal to the opposite sign of the work going from C to A. And per the instructions on part uh, B, that number is 4,000. So it's just negative 4,000 U's, final answer. And this is part C, final answer. All right, so basically once we figure out that going from B uh, to A ends up having not, uh, it's, not an, it's not an isothermal process, not an isothermic process, because the temperature is not kept constant. It goes up and then down. But um, we are still dealing with state functions, which means that we could simplify into this part then further down and then that's basically how we got to our final answer and now we're going to move on to part um, d so part d uh, let me use this other color right here so part d says that the amount of work the magnitude of the work for process a to b is equal to one six zero zero joules, and we have to determine Q A B C A. Okay, so what's Q for A, B, C, A? Okay, so this is kind of just doing this the the exact same thing because when you are going from A B C A, that's a full circle, which means that your delta t going from A to A is equal to zero, which means that the change in thermal energy going from A to A is equal to zero. That means that you, um, change in internal energy is equal to zero, and we end up with the same situation. We end up that negative uh, Q going A to A has to be equal to W when you go A to A, oh, A, A, so negative Q, uh, A, A, can, this can also be uh, separated. Uh, so when you go from A to A, you go from A to B, then you go from B to C, then you go from C to A. Now again, the work from B to C is equal to zero and we're only left with A to B and C to A. Uh, A to B, we know the magnitude, so it's 1600. And we also know that going from A to B is negative because the volume goes up. So that will be negative one, six, zero, zero, plus zero. And then C to A is positive because the volume goes down. And we actually know the magnitude, which is 4,000. So 4,000. So Q going A, B, C, A is equal to, um, I don't need a calculator. Two four zero zero. Uh, 
um, Jules' final answer, and this is negative because we have this negative sign over here. Final answer. Okay, so if you guys have found these uh, problems um, helpful, please make sure to leave a like. If you have any questions, write them in the comments. I will do my best to get to them. And I'll see you guys on the next video.